Buonasera a tutti amici filoludici e giocofili Oggi è il 22 novembre E in questa stagione la ridente cittadina di Milano dà sempre il meglio di sé Umido e pioggia da far schifo E lo smog nell'aria non è certo d'aiuto Ma sto andando a questo evento chiamato Uci Cinema presenta Final Fantasy XV Alle 8 e mezza mi recherò al Bicocca Village a Milano perché questo evento è solo per due cinema uno a Milano e uno a Roma in cui ci sarà un'ora di streaming in cui faranno vedere del gameplay in anteprima per celebrare per marcare questo step finale prima dell'effettiva uscita di Final Fantasy XV Worldwide il 29 novembre anche se come si sa è già liccato parecchio e è stato rotto il day one in diversi stati Fuori dalla metro, ancora qualche metro a piedi, arriverò a Bicocca Village. Una cosa importante che non vi ho detto è che dopo quest'ora di esclusiva, in diretta, con interviste, ultime anteprime, eccetera, ci sarà la proiezione di due ore del lungometraggio in grafica computerizzata Kingslave Final Fantasy XV, che sarà il prequel diretto del gioco che uscirà. Attualmente è già disponibile in DVD e in Blu-ray, ma io me lo guardo al cinema. Here comes Johnny! Ma bisogna decidere dove mangiare. Showing you a little bit of Final Fantasy 15. Let's check out how big the world actually is. Ready? Let's hit it.
ジェイミー・オリバーのお店、15というレストランに来てます。で、ここで今日FF15のお料理が食べられるということで非常に楽しみにしています。FF15にとって料理というのは人間にとって食事が最も大事な要素であるようにFF15のキャラクターたちにと
You wanted to see Noctis kick in a mid gossamer. Hello, Joe Scrabbles here again. I'm with Iwata-san and Tabata-san. We are going to watch the mid gossamer which was voted for by people who wanted to make it difficult for me to pronounce things tonight, which is great. Uh, so, if we could talk through first, what is a Midgarsama? Again, can't say it. And uh, and what do we need to do to take them on? But also, no, I don't think it's like that. Midgarsorum is a doll you know, so you are to take on the doll you know, so you are to take on the doll you know, so you are to take on the doll you know, so you are to take on the doll you know, so you are to take on the doll uh, no, the Midgar Sorma is uh, a monster that appeared in Final Fantasy VII, it appeared in a number of other Final Fantasies as well. It's a very popular monster among Final Fantasy fans, most of them will know it. Uh, it's basically a gigantic snake-like monster. I mean, one of the, the big things about fighting, because Final Fantasy XV is an action-based game, uh, when it comes at you and tries to constrict you in its coils and trying to avoid that while still attacking it is one of the big uh, points in this battle. And of course, in what sense, we're, we're looking at a monster that we've seen before. People are very familiar with it, most, as you say, most, uh, most obviously from Final Fantasy VII. How do you go about redesigning a monster for an action game but keeping it with the classic design that everyone remembers and knows? えっと、デザインもなんだけれども、やっぱり表現力が上がったので、すごくそうね、見た目の。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ、あ。あ、あ
that everyone's been waiting for. This is where we come to the exclusive new footage, never before seen. Hi, hi, is everyone ready? Hi, hi, hi. That's a fair reaction, that's a fair reaction. So, we are going to be showing you the Leviathan boss battle. This is a summon that you will earn by beating it. Looking place that unfortunately is full of Nifurhammers now. So, the story is that 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 the story the situation you find yourself in the story here. Obviously, the Nifurhammer army is invading here, you're fighting against them. But also the Leviathan, one of the Astrals, has, uh, has risen and appeared here. You've got to fight against her at the same time. And so, uh, obviously, the heroine of the game, Luna, has uh, awakened the Leviathan. Uh, I can't tell you exactly why, but Leviathan being woken up, she's very, very angry at that. Uh, it's quite a difficult situation for the player because now they actually have to fight against this enraged, awakened Leviathan. So, essentially, we've ruined nap time. That's right. <laughs> Not quite just a nap though, she's been asleep for a very long time. Well, well, well. Um, and of course, with the team split up, we see Noctis fighting alone, which is something we haven't seen so much. So, how does it change the game when you're playing with her? <laughs> No, this is just as I said in the previous comment that you cannot rely on uh, combination play and team play techniques, so you really have to rely on your own action skills to, to get through this fight. And then at these points where you think, oh, it'd be great if I had some buddies around to help me, they come and help you out like this. <laughs> that's, that's quite an action stuff that he's pulling off there. We've got sort of a, uh, like the Final Fantasy version of a uh, speeder bike from Star Wars. Now you're riding on one of the enemy's machines here. <laughs> and so this is uh, this is more of a sort of QT section and uh, like an action action section, less like the standard combat we've seen. So are we talking about various sequences in the boss battles? This isn't just straightforward open world combat as we've seen so far. No, I mean, as you see, we've just arrived at where Leviathan is now, but the idea and the way that this was designed was to be a really dramatic sequence leading up to the actual battle with her itself. So, in the, the trek to get there, you have to go through these really dramatic action scenes to do that. Uh, I mean, he's saying, please lend me your power, but this is uh, perhaps not happily impossible, but it's a very, very large enemy to be fighting, I think. <laughs> so it's not as much a battle as it is just trying to impress someone much more powerful. It's a battle to you, it's a battle to you, it's a battle to you. But the Leviathan is very upset, so you have to admit that you have to show your power. No, but the Leviathan is very, very angry here, so uh, in order to have her uh, accept you and, and your abilities, you're really just going to have to fight her. So I think people who played through Final Fantasy have got some kind of image of what it must be like facing down one of the summer monsters, but this is where for the first time you really get to feel what it's like to take one of these things on. And so we kind of looking at moves that we will see our summon performing later on once we learn the Leviathan? <laughs> You will, you'll see some, yeah. But you're going to have to be hit by them first. <laughs> so if fans are looking closely, they can uh, they can perhaps intuit some some little details about the game. Yeah, so, uh, there are a few of those, yes. And so now we're entering the climactic section of the battle. We've got the royal arms surrounding Noctis. I believe you have a special name for this form of Noctis. Yeah, uh, no, this is, uh, 
なると聞いたんですけど、いかがですか特別な名前じゃないけど、まあ、我々はスーパーノクトって呼んでるんだけど、<笑> It's not a particularly special name, but we call it super n o c t u s here. ちょっとね、ある理由から今、ノクトの力が解放されている状態だよね。I mean, there's a certain specific reason why Noctus now unlocked his full powers at this point. Mm. See, and,、はい、and so is this how we're earning all our summons? Oh, 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 e mezza sono uscito prima della fine della proiezione di King Slave sarebbe finito a mezzanotte mezzanotte e un quarto considerando tutti i programmi allora il film molto bello molto interessante anche se nel punto in cui ho interrotto che ovviamente c'era la fase più concitata del film rimangono ancora alcune domande senza risposta e quindi è tutto, aspettiamo l'uscita del gioco il 29 novembre e nel caso la mia edizione, quella che ho prenotato, la Deluxe Edition, conterrà anche il Blu-ray di King's Day, vedrò come andrà a finire e poi mi gusterò con la dovuta calma, con il dovuto rito e con il dovuto rispetto Final Fantasy XV. Alla prossima!